Hello, it's James. I'm back in the shop again, doing a project I've been waiting for for a long time. Stay tuned. Well, let's see. It is uh, June, and it was June of last year where I had packed up my shop in Colorado and we moved to Washington State. So every, all of my tools, my CNC machine, everything's been packed up and unusable. We're now in our new house. I'm creating the new shop as you've been watching. But I got to finally start putting my CNC machine back together. And this time with an upgrade from CNC for newbies. Well, I apologize for not doing the unboxing of the CNC for newbie ultimate upgrade. But these are what came in the box. This is the y-axis uh, y here. Where's my hand? There it is. This is the y-axis. This is the uh, uh, x-axis and the gantry. And here's the other y-axis over here. Um, the kit came with the beefed up stepper motors. There's three of those, all new cables, all correctly marked, all of the hardware is correctly marked for where it goes. It comes with a new drag chain, which that's the only reason I think I'm disappointed in any of this. Everything looks fabulous, but this drag chain doesn't pop open like the Inventables one. Uh, so it's all gonna have to be threaded through there. But I gotta show you something here. This is amazing how beefy and, and uh, let me zero this out, just how big these components are this aluminum is nearly half an inch 493 thousandths it's it's sturdy it's not going anywhere um i can't wait to get this thing going and i will stop along the way to uh, uh show the progress one thing is uh, on the on the y they have these mounting um screws that slide into very much like the x carve that slide into the bottom channel and i've already mounted this one and the trick to this is to put all three screws and nuts on at the same time and then slide it in and and adjust it later and then i will be making sure that it's from corner to corner it's perfectly square uh by the way i have a new uh waste board um for this unit I, the the movers crushed uh, I had it all disassembled, my x carp disassembled when we moved, and uh, the movers destroyed it, so I, I got a new one. So, this is going to be ultimately a brand new machine, and I will be selling all of the old x carp parts, the rails, the stepper motors, and one Xbox controller um, will be for sale on, I don't know, eBay or something. So anyway, I got to get busy and start putting this together. I'll be back. Oh, and I apologize. I meant to show you the Z-axis as well. Look at how big and sturdy and beefy that is. Um, it came with the stepper motor already on it. It's got the linear bearings, just like the X, Y, and, and, uh, X and Y axis. And it came with the limit switch already installed. So this should be a piece of cake just to put together and get running. I'm very excited. Okay, well, I made a mistake. Really? Yes, I do make mistakes. What I did earlier is I tightened up the Y rail. This is Y2 and this is Y1. And I tightened up um, with them alongside, tight against the waste board, and then squared it up thinking that was gonna be okay. But it turns out that the uh, X, X rail um, is wider than that so i had to loosen up all the screws front and back and then mount the mount the uh x rails and uh the gantry and i split the difference i'm sorry for all the camera movements i split the difference between each side of the extra distance that's required for this to to uh 
to go on there squarely. Now I have not, I've, I've attached it to the linear bearings here, but I haven't attached it to the um, actual uh, screw yet. So what I'm gonna do now is, see it's, it's not square yet. So I'm going to square it up and then tighten down the front and then push it all the way to the back um, and then do the same thing in the back. Get it square and then tighten up the back rails. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, folks, here's another update on my conversion X-Carve to the ultimate X-Carve update from CNC for newbies. Um, I got the drag chain partially installed. I was very happy to find out that indeed the drag chain did open and I didn't have to thread everything through. I broke a couple of them. Be careful when you do that. Uh, I broke the tips off of the edge on a couple of them. So I'll have to tape them down. But um, I'm also adding the Opt Blazer with the Air Assist, uh, which are these wires here. Um, but CNC for Newbie did not have the mount uh, like the X-Carve did where I could mount the laser. So what I did, and I'm hoping everybody uh, would think this is a good solution. So what I did is I cut on a bandsaw the old uh, X-Carve uh, router mount, and I'm mounting it underneath the CNC for Newbie mount. And I think I'm going to put the laser on the right side instead of the left side so that when, sorry for all the camera movement, so that when uh, the CNC machine goes home, there will be no danger of the laser crashing into one of these heavy rails. So um, that's my update for now. I'm starting to do the electronics and the stepper motors. Uh, everything is going well. I hope I got all the necessary wires I need in the drag chain so I don't have to redo it, but we'll see what happens. All right, I have finished uh, all of the wiring and I have finished changing all the gerbil settings for this upgrade. And so I'm about to hit the homing switch and we'll see what happens. Whoops, sorry. Ready. Yep, we got Z. Oh, please be good. We got Y. And we got X. All right, I am going to probably spend the rest of the day shortening these wires by cutting them, soldering the tips, and reinserting them into the X controller because there's just way too many wires, but that's next. Stay tuned. Well, everybody, I just came back to give uh, another video on the completed build um, of the CNC for Newbie Ultimate Upgrade. And I'm also adding uh, reviews shortly of the op laser that I installed on here. So everything works perfectly. I spent some time cutting all those wires, resoldering the ends and just making you know it less messy over here. The blue uh, tube over there is for the op laser air assist. Um, but everything works great. I can't wait to uh, get my dust collection shoe from Kent CNC so I can actually start uh, uh, making projects again, and I will be doing a review shortly of the op laser uh, as soon as I figure out how the air assist works Well, my Kent CNC dust shoe arrived today in the mail and It's got the two and a half inch connection. It fits right up to the router and when I cut the old router mount for X carve it left just enough room for this heavy duty acrylic to mount up to the router. I still have room to change the bits. I still have access, where is it, to the button down there. But 
Oh, and it's a magnetic, um, oh, and it's a magnetic mount. So you just get it closed and it pops right up into place. Let me do that again with a better camera angle. It comes off like that and you can change a bit really easily. And then it just magnetizes itself right back up. But I had to move the laser, the opt laser. So my only solution right now, because this is so wide off of the router, was to do this with washers. There's 12 little washers in there to hold it off the side until I can find a bushing that's equal size and then I'll use bushings. But right now, um, that's the plan to use that. So I'll be doing demos of uh, actual cutting and lasering shortly and I'll add it to this video. But uh, this is definitely gonna be a crash hazard into this rail now, as well as this being a crash hazard into the into the Y2 rail. So um, I'll be getting used to all this shortly. So that'll do it for this video. I am so pleased with the way this worked out. I'm gonna have a, a super precision CNC machine with laser engraver attached. So my next couple of videos will be actual demos of using the CNC machine and using Opt Laser. So please stay tuned. And if you like any of my videos, just hit the like button down there and then hit the subscribe button with the bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video, which is gonna start happening more often. So again, thanks for coming. Thanks for staying with me through this. And I hope you come back. Take care.